Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing the last box opening uh, for Divine Dragon Progression. So I did get extremely lucky with pulling uh, at least uh, pulling a, a Novel Vague from each of the three other boxes. One of them, granted one of them was an SP, so it took away a, a rare spot. So I did manage to also pull a Cruel Dragon from that one, um, which was really nice. Um, but anyway, getting to this last box, if I can pull another one like I, like I did with the second box, that would be amazing. Um, but by now, what I really need to start hoping to pull is um, more Sentinels and more of the actual Novell support cards, like this card, for instance. So let's see, if hopefully we can pull those. So you get the promo card, the Dragon Dancer. Right off the bat, we start off with another one of those guys. And then the Halem again. The Halem, that guy. Oh. These are peeling really weird. This, they're all like peeling straight off. Berserk Dragon. And another Dragon Dancer. Um, Sentinel. So this is the third one. That's very good. I only need one more now. Shouldn't be too hard to get one of those. The Berserk Dragon. Another, another Lizard Soldier, uh, Raupia. Another Ashgar. Oh, he's actually the booster for Novel Vague. And the interesting thing about him, he's actually one of those really really good ones because he just straight up like he's a 7k grade one and he's uh like a vanguard specific booster so he boosts transcendence dragon dragonic novel vo and he boosts him plus three thousand so that's basically a 10k booster for him so that's attacking for twenty three thousand um otherwise he's not a dead card like a lot of those other ones that are only like 5k um so or 4k with soul blast like uh for instance, um, Chambre in, or not Chambre in that, Chambre in this deck. So yeah, he's still a very relevant card if you don't have Novel Vague, because you can just throw him behind the Vanguard and he's still boosting for a very decent number. 7k is pretty much the standard these days. You're seeing less and less of the 8k vanilla. It's just because the unit effects are becoming more important than just straight up attack power Dragonic Overlord, that's, I'm not too happy to see that what I'll probably do now that I pulled so many of these is I'll keep my DN deck and just make it a regular like a traditional like four of this four of that and then Dauntless Drive is probably gonna go with Novell that's probably what I'm going to do. And a Blast Bulk Dragon. He is the one. He actually is a pretty decent card too. He works pretty well with, with Dauntless Drive. Um, but he also just, he's 11k. He's just pretty good. He reminds me, I don't know why, of Sweep Command from Eradicators. Now, now I just need to pull an SP. Another one of those. 
And the last pack, this probably is going to be a double R. I hope it's Novell Critic. Yes, it's, no, it's Novell Critic Dragon. Excellent. So I did pull this, I did pull that. So overall, it's not that bad. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the deck profile. Uh, and I'll probably ref do a refresh on some of my other Vanguard decks. Uh, specifically the Kagero ones. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.